Hello, uh, Pete Hoffman calling for Carter Hasegawa. Thanks. You know, one of the best things about being an author is when that first copy of a new title shows up on your doorstep. And Carter told me he was sending me that first author's copy of Eden West um, today. Well, what I got was not your usual Federal Express envelope. It was this. I have no... Carter! Yeah, yeah, I got the package. What the heck? Well, for one thing, it's huge. Looks like it was wrapped by the Unabomber. Well, I asked you to wrap it good because I'm doing an unboxing video. What do you mean? Just be sure to open it outside. Dude, you're scaring me. Okay, <clears throat> be like that. Just promise me there isn't a live hand grenade in here. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, thanks a lot. I'll let you know how it goes. <clears throat> I honestly don't know what to expect. I mean, the last time I saw Carter, he was in Psycho Susie's Tiki Bar drinking rum out of a coconut shell. Um, there could be anything in here from live snakes to anthrax. Well, one thing for sure. I am not going to take any chances. Any excuse to get out the chainsaw. And what have we here? We find a letter from Carter Hasegawa, no doubt. And feathers. Lots of feathers. Bubble wrap, of course. And beneath that, plastic animals, more feathers, more bubble wrap. Things are getting weird. Oh my. Notice I leave my gloves on for this part. There could be a live chicken in there. But I think there's only parts of dead chickens. And a box within a box. A metal box. A metal toolbox wrapped in chains with three padlocks and no keys. I don't know what we have here, but I do know that I've made a big mess. Of course, Gaston has to get in the act. Yes, we're going to need more tools. And Gaston is helping with a pink feather tool. Thank you very much. I don't have a... Uh, bolt cutter, but I do have a clipper that takes care of that small chain. Once you get that off, the box is wrapped in some sort of metal mesh. I don't know what it is. I've never seen anything quite like it before, but the tin snips makes quick work of it. And it seems that Carter has glued the mesh to the metal box. This Furthermore, he glued, he glued the lock shut. We are going to need more tools. A super bar makes quick work of this. I sped this up because I know your time is valuable. Inside, of course, more feathers. Lots of feathers. And a piece of cardboard. And underneath that, that might be a book in there, wrapped in plastic and glitter. And he's glued it to the bottom of the box. More super bar comes out. The glue is not dry. I don't know what kind of glue that is. It's some kind of goop. I sped this up even more. It took a long time to get the book out of that plastic without getting that white goop all over the book and myself. 
but uh, a little knife action, a little elbow grease, and eventually, any time now, aha, the book comes out. There it is. Eden West Unboxed. Well, that was fun. Now, the book itself is gorgeous. It has a three-quarter jacket on it with some very nice case artwork. So you lose the jacket, you still have a nice looking book. Um, I really like it. Thank you, Candlewick, uh, for the book, not the feathers. My neighbors are going to kill me. Eden West will be coming out April 14th, 2015. For more information, like what's actually in the book, go to my website, PeteHotman.com. Thanks for watching.